Hello, RimPro friends. It's September 27th, 2021, and we're going to continue to talk a little bit about onions. You remember a couple of months ago, we planted these multipliers, and we've been eating on them. We can clip them off or pull them up. That's one of the seasons that you plant early. We're now in the season for these onions. These are sets, S-E-T-S, -E white, yellow, and red. They're a little, a little baby onion that's been grown by a farmer and dried, and you just push them in the ground like that. These will not get real big, but you can eat them all winter long. We always call them spring onions, but sophisticated people call them scallions. I think spring onion because they spring out of the ground so fast. So that's a set. This is a set for a shallot, which is a milder, different kind of onion. I would encourage you to try those. They're really nice sauteed. This is a set for a granix onion. A granix onion is like a Georgia sweet or a Vidalia or a Texas sweet. This is a bulbing onion. So this will be left until May or so, and it will make a bigger onion. You can use it as a scallion, but these make better scallions. This is garlic. You got the beginning of the season now, a garlic you break apart, plant the cloves. There's a top and a bottom. You push that in the soil. We're not gonna plant them here, but just to show you. And they grow all the way till spring and we'll talk about how to harvest garlic when it gets time. This is elephant garlic. These are cloves that are already separated. Big old giant clove as big as a grapefruit as you'll get out of each one of these. All of these you plant now and for the next six or eight weeks. Onions are length of day sensitive. So we will have some other kinds of onions, onion plants primarily, November, December, January, and then we'll get some day neutral onions, which are not associated with the length of the day. So basically when you walk in and say, what kind of onions to plant, we'll have something out for you. So plant onions, they're great for your ego and you can have fresh ones. This is Mary Beth's little kitchen garden and we have them all the time. See you next week.